Okay guys, so this is my get ready with me video. I apologize, I thought I was gonna be able to go live, but obviously YouTube has some new eligibility requirements that I'm not meeting on my channel to be able to go live. So this is gonna be, yeah, unedited, unscripted, blooper, anything you can name, that's what it's gonna be. I apologize ahead of time, but listen, I'm a realist. Like I'm not the type of person that's gonna go off of a script. Um, at this point in my life, I'll say. I'm trying to set it up so you guys can see it real good. So, that said, um, you're going to get me. 100% me, reality. Um, I am going to grab one more thing, and that is my mirror. And then we're going to get this party started, okay? Alright, alright. My Cardi B. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, let's get it. Let's get right into it, y'all. Sir, first things first, I did go ahead and um, when I took a shower, I did go ahead and use my clean and clear. I use a night relaxing deep cleanser face wash, and then I use the deep the blackhead eraser um, exfoliant. I do use the blackhead exfoliant about three times a week. I don't use too much of it because what it does, it takes the disc and off of your face. And um, if you exfoliate too much, it makes your face red, become raw, and irritated. So that's what I use to wash my face and get the um, blackheads and exfoliate my face three times a week. The face wash I use every day, every night. Um, and I also am using right now the moisturizing... I, I actually fluctuate between CeraVe and um, Clean and Clear, but I'm using the moisturizer from CeraVe. This is a little trial size, but I have a bigger size in my um, shower. Okay, so um, that's done. I did pick up this at my local Sephora. It's Too Faced Hangover Set and Spray Three in One. So it's a um, <clears throat> it's a prime, a set, and a refresh. Um, it is silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free. That's what it states. Um, so I am going to try that today. So first things first, I am going to <clears throat> spray this. As I said it before, my face is sprayed, it's, it's cleansed, it's um, exfoliate, exfoliated, excuse me. And it is also, my lips, uh, moisturized. So I'm going to go ahead and shake this baby up. And it says spray it all over your face before you apply your makeup for a smooth application. Mm. You barely feel it. Oh, that's a lot, huh? Ha! Yes, honey. And it smells like coconut. And that's my favorite. I love the smell of coconut, honey. I wonder do you need to fan it. Mm -hmm. Okay, girl. All right. So I'm going to grab my concealer tray. I have all types of concealers in my concealer dry and I'm going to grab a flat rounded brush to get this party started it's coming apart but to get this party started I really need to get my eyebrows done guys but just bear with me I may go over the weekend but you know I'm doing this for y'all so y'all can see how I do so I brush them in place you know you know, you know. I'm gonna have to switch it up, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to use my main brush. And I'm gonna be using Pure Beige. And uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, I'm gonna just go under my brow and on my lid. Preparing that lid for a smooth application of eyeshadow. Now, guys, this is somewhat different than what I used to do. I used to go ahead and do my brow first. But I've actually been looking at a couple of different Instagram pages where they do their, they actually shape the brow first and do the shadow after and then go from there and I actually like that I actually like the way that it came off 
and came out. Yes. Taking a little fluffy powder brush. <clears throat> Just smoothing it out. So it kind of like forms the brow already. Even though you haven't even put any product on the brow, it kind of like creates that shape. Like, okay, this is what we're going to do. It's kind of like when you trace first and color in, and then you go back and color the inside and make it all sharp and clean. Like that. See, so it already kind of gives you the shape. Ahead of time. So now I'm going to go in with Kat Von D. This was actually a, this is a tattoo liner. It's actually an eyeliner. But I use it for my brows. I um, got it from Sephora. It was actually in a kit. With a pouch that came with it. So I just kind of use that. You see how I go in and create the brow it works good for me um, just keep it in mind like it's not gonna be that dark and this is um what color is this Mad Max Brown Kat Von D So then I go with it, go in with brow, the brow gal by Tanya Crooks, brown hair number two. And this is just a gel, a gel mascara wand. That brow right there is sharp, honey. The arch is pretty high. I'm gonna have to fill that in a little bit. And then I go in with Brow Faction. <clears throat> and this is by um, European Wax Center. And it's a duo, and it's uh, Tawny and Ebony Dark. And I go in with the light part first, and I do the beginning of my brow. Feathering it back. Doing the same thing for my other side of my brow. Because it's light. It's a light color. Feathering it back. Then I go in with the dark color, doing the tail of my brow. Yeah, I had to fill that in a little bit because that arch was kind of 
prominent. Okay. I thought I saw it in a little bit. There you go. And going on the other side. Doing the dark. Fill the net in. Guys, the good thing about brows is you can make them any shape you want to. Thickness, fullness. Everybody has a different preference. But the cleanup is magical. That's what's magical. That's what's going to give you those that fine, that fine tuning. I'm going to have to put some glue on this thing because I love this. I actually got this brush from um, Ross. And it came in like a, a kit with another a couple paint brushes. Because I actually paint too. Um, when I have time. When I'm not doing 102 other things but um you can kind of sculpt it however you want to that's the beauty of brows like it's not over until the concealer goes on top on the bottom and what i like to do i don't like to have the lightness of my brow at the top anymore so what I do is I go closest to my skin color as possible. And right here, this is LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze. And so you can barely see it. It looks like my skin tone. So towards the end, I see that I need to do a little bit more, like a little bit longer line for my tail of my brow. So again, guys, I'm telling you, like, there we go. So it's really up to you how you want to finesse it. And, you know, you take as long as you want. You take as, you know, short amount of time as you want. If you want it to be feather, you can make it feather. If you want it to be blunt, you can make it blunt. It's really all up to the, per the individual, the person. It's all individualized. Everything is individualized, guys. I want you guys to keep that in mind. Everything is individualized. And what I mean by that, I'm also talking about, because for me, my weight loss journey too. Same exact thing. It's individualized. I used to really focus on other people's weight loss and, and see what I could do to get the results that they had until I actually studied my body and had to realize that it is not their journey, but my journey, and it's different. And once I realized that, I was like, okay, girl, you really got it. You really got this. Because oftentimes, especially as women, we compare ourselves, if you want to admit it or not, to other women and the journey that they're going through, especially if it's the same thing that we're trying to do. Like, if we're trying to lose weight, we're going to look at other people's, we're going to look at other women. You know, sometimes we may look at men, like, to get the results that we want as far as, like, the timing. But when it comes to the actual end result, not, not the actual technique but the end result, we look like, oh my gosh, we got to do X, Y, Z, you know, let me do exactly what she did. And it's just like, you know what, our bodies are all made different. So I just went in there with um, Elf Foundation and Cocoa. I'm putting a little bit between my brows. Then I'm going to come in with the a spoolie. Hopefully I can find a better spoolie than this. It would have helped if I had all my tools together, but I decided I was going to go live this morning. So, yeah, all my tools are not, like, together. Where is my spoolie, though? Okay, guys. This is a spoolie I'm going to be using.
I'm just making them lighter, as you can see. Because I don't like my brows super dark. So I'm just making them a little light. A little lighter, not the major. Okay. So now I have to prime my lid. And I'm gonna go here with some shape tape by Tarte in the color deep. Just priming my lid. And guys, I'm just kind of winging it as far as my eyeshadow look. Because I have no idea what eyeshadow look I'm going to be doing. But the steps that I'm using are the steps that I always take. Just want to let you know. So I'm going to go in with some setting powder. And this is going to be um, Sacha Buttercup. Just to set my lid. And it is in um, Sasha Buttercup. Just a set my lid. Excuse me while I take a sip out of my custom cup. Just a cup that I made. It's apple juice and ice. I'm an ice cruncher, y'all. The more and more I do videos, the more you're going to see that I like to crunch ice. And I don't like people that crunch ice. Like, it's crazy. Like, I just... Mm, hard to explain. Let me see if I can get it perfect. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. Okay. There you go. Woohoo! Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the eye... Eyeshadow look. And lately I've been feeling sunsets. So maybe I should just go ahead with that. Because you guys haven't seen the sunset. But don't get me wrong. Like... You haven't seen the video of the sunset, but you've definitely seen pictures if you follow me on Instagram or any of my social media pages and Snapchat. I don't have Facebook right now. So, the sunset has been the business. It really has, y'all. For whatever reason, I just love it. I just love it. So, I think I'm going to go in with this Juvia's Place palette with this color right here. I seem to like to start really dark. Don't ask me why. Or, I don't know why I like to start dark. But, I like to start dark, see? I like to start dark. <laughs> I don't know why. I just really like to start like oh mad dark I 
Okay, so that's just like a a burnt orange with a hint of brown in it. So now I'm gonna go in with this Juvia's Place palette and hit that yellow up. That yellow though. That yellow though. Ooh. Can we say I do this in like the last, so I would say for the last month, I've been doing this. Killing it with the whole sunset. It's just something about it. Like, give me something else to do. Like, natural or something. I just, I just always revert to the sunset. Okay. So now I'm gonna do like a little, like a deep purple. So this is gonna call Zobo. It's like a plum, it's not like a deep purple. It's not like a deep purple. I, got, I mean, it's a deep plum. Let's see what it do. It's my first time adding this color, so work with me, y'all. Ooh. Oh, okay. okay. Child. Okay, well, I've done a little something. I've done a little something. I'm doing a little something. You know, right now it's looking like, okay, girl, what are you doing? Like, where are you going with this? But bear with me now. Bear with me now. May have to throw some orange in that. Matter of fact, maybe I'll put orange on my lid. Hello. Let me go and give me some concealer. Guess I can go with the pure beige again. Hold on. fall off again y'all bear with me
I just carved out a little bit of it to do my lid color. Trying to decide what the lid color will be. Let's do let's do white first. Let me pat white on first. Sorry if you guys can't see. Pat white on first. I think I'm going to do a green. Going to do a green. I think I want to do a green. <laughs> I just hope it plays right, y'all, because. I want to do a green. <laughs> so this really ain't no sunset. more like Now I want to go deeper in the outer crease. You know, I just can't leave that there. Like, I feel like I need to do a little something. No shimmer, though. Oh, this may be much. Hold on. No. Again, y'all, I told y'all I didn't have no, no makeup look in my... Okay. A little bit of purple. Do it. A little bit of purple. And the good news, guys, I'm going to save y'all some time. A lot of time. I'm going to go ahead and do finish this side up real quick. And then bring y'all back when I'm doing my contour and highlight, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do the lash, liner, mascara, okay? Save y'all some time because I know y'all really want to get to it, get with it. I didn't realize it was so much. Okay. 
Okay. I'm using NYX um, vinyl liquid liner. And vinyl is going to be shiny. I'm a blinker too, guys. So I have to take a little bit of time doing my liner. Because I blink a lot. I'm a blinker. You know, when you were growing up as a kid and y'all played them staring contests? Yeah, I never won. You gotta stare and you can't look. It's like, oh my God, you can't blink. It's like, oh, well, I've already lost. Cause I'm a blinker. I'm a blinker, honey. Okay, so that's a liner. I got a little bit under my lid, under my eye. The best way to get it off is a Q-tip. That's the best way to get it on. So that's that. Let me slap this um lash on if y'all can see that. And then we'll get to finishing it up. I'm using um, Volumizing Butterfly Sculpt Mascara. I believe it's L'Oreal. Just spread them lashes on a little bit. And I gotta pick which lashes I'm wearing today. I have so many. ones these are but they're reusable and I'm using the duo um, lash glue and I like the duo lash glue that actually has a doll's foot I think it's called doe's foot excuse me doe's foot at the bottom versus using the squeezy one you have more control over how much glue goes on that lash. And I have a fan right here that I use to um, make sure that glue gets tacky. And then you can also blow it too, of course. Or you can fan it. Make sure that... Yeah, make sure you put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> I always place it in the center first so that it gets a good ad adhesion. Put it right in the center. And then I go in the, for the right eye, I go in the corner. Then I go to the end and place it. I 
Okay, so I'll come back. I'm going to go and do my left eye and I'm going to come back to you guys, okay?